Hi children, today we will do question number 8 and question number 9. Now look at the 8th question. A floor is 5 meter long and 4 meter wide. A square carpet of side 3 meter is laid, laid on the floor. We have to find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. So what is given there in the question? Look at this. This is the floor. Okay. This is a rectangular floor and it is 5 meter long. 5 meter long means what? 5 meter the length. 5 meter is the length and 4 meter is the breadth. Okay. And what is the next sentence? A square carpet of side 3 meter is laid on the floor. So one square carpet is there. Okay. Now we have to find out the area of the floor that is not carpeted. That means we have to find the area of this remaining part of this land. Okay. You have to find the area of this remaining part of the land. How will we find the area children? It is given that length and breadth of the floor is given there. And we know that the side of the square carpet. How will we find the area of this remaining part of this land? Listen children. If you know the area of the floor, floor and if you know the area of the square carpet. When we are doing subtraction will you get the area of this floor that is not carpeted? Yes. So what you have to do here children? First we have to find the area of the floor. So what is the length of the floor here? Length of the floor is equal to 5 meter. And what is the breadth of the floor here? Breadth of the floor is equal to Breadth of the floor is equal to 4 meter. Wide means breadth. So what will be the area of the floor? area of the floor will be it's a rectangular floor that means length into breadth that is equal to 5 into 4 what is the answer 20 meter square so we have to find the area of this shaded portion so for finding the area of this shaded portion first we find out the area of the floor next we have to find the area of the square carpet okay then only we can say that this much of portion of square carpet is already covered okay so how will we find the area of the square carpet side of the square carpet is given there what is the side of the square carpet side of the square carpet is equal to 3 meter and how will we find the area of the square carpet? We know that what is the formula of finding area of a square? Side into side. Okay. Side into side. That means 3 into 3. What is the answer? 9 meter square. Now we have to find the area of the shaded portion. Or we can say the area of the floor that is not carpeted. We have to find the area of the floor. We have to find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. How will we find children? How will we find area of the floor minus area of the floor minus area of the square carpet. You will get the area of the floor that is not carpeted. Area of the square carpet. So what is the answer? What is the area of the floor here? Area of the floor is 20. What is the area of the carpet here? 9. So what is the answer? 11 meter square. I hope this answer is clear. We have to find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. That means here the shaded portion. So how will we find it? If you know the area of the floor and if you know the area of the square carpet and if you are doing the subtraction you will get the answer of area of the floor that is not carpeted. Okay children, before finding the area of the floor that is not carpeted, first we have to find the area of the floor, then you have to find the area of the square carpet, just do the subtraction, you will get the remaining part area. That means you will get the area of the floor that is not carpeted. I hope this answer is clear for everyone. Now move to the next question. 5 square flower beds each of sides 1 meter are dug on a piece of land 5 meter long and 4 meter wide. 
what we have to find out here what is the area of the remaining part of the land if in case such case of quests are coming first you find the areas what all things are given there in the question find out the areas of that and you do the subtraction you will get the area of the remaining part of the land now what is given there in the question a rectangular plot a rectangular plot is 5 meter long and 4 meter wide okay so a rectangular land so what is the length of the land length of the land is equal to length of the land is equal to 5 meter and what is the breadth of the land breadth of the land is equal to breadth of the land is equal to 4 meter if you know the length and breadth you can easily find the area is it area of the land is equal to what is the formula of finding area of a rectangle length into breadth so we can write 5 into 4 what is the answer 20 meter square so we got the area of this particular we got the area of that particular rectangular land okay so 20 meter square is the area of that particular rectangular land and now what happened children five square flower beds of side 1 meter are dug on the piece that means five square flower bed this is one square flower bed this is one square flower bed two three like the same way five square flower bed okay five square flower bed are dug on this piece of land of side 1 meter each is side 1 meter this is side 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter each of side 1 meter dug on that particular land we have to find the area of the remaining part of the land that means we have to find the area of this remaining part we have to find the area of this remaining part of the land this remaining part area we have to find okay so how will we find we know the area of the floor area of the land and so if you are finding the area of the five square flower bed and if you are doing subtraction you will get the area of this remaining part of the land okay children we have to find the area of this remaining part of the land and five flower square flower beds are dug on that land so what is given there in the question side of a square flower bed is given there side of a square flower bed square side of a square flower bed what is the side of a square flower bed 1 meter if you know the side of a square flower bed how will we find the area of a square flower bed area of a square flower bed what is the area side into side that means 1 into 1 what is the answer 1 meter square so we got the area of one square flower bed this listen children area of listen here area of one square flower bed is 1 meter square so what is the area of five square flower this is 1 meter square 1 meter square 1 meter square 1 meter square area of each square flower bed is 1 meter square so what is the area of five square flower bed area of five square flower bed is equal to how will we find 5 into 1 what is the answer 5 meter square so how will we find the area of the remaining part of the land we know the area of the land we know the area of five square flower bed and we have to find the remaining portion area of the remaining portion how will we find children area of the remaining part of the land is equal to area of the remaining part of the land is equal to how will we find how will we find is equal to area of the land area of the land minus area of five square flower bed if you are doing the subtraction you will get the area of the remaining part of the land that means 20 minus 5 what is the answer 15 meter square this will be the area of the remaining part of the land i hope this is clear just look at the answer one more time 
we have to find the area of the remaining part of the land five flower square flower beds are dug on a rectangular piece of land so for finding the remaining part of the area of the remaining part first we find out the area of the land and we got the answer as 20 cm 20 meter square after that we find out the area of the five square flower bed and we did the subtraction and we got the answer for area of the remaining part of the land i hope this answer is clear that's all for today thank you